almost like a mini press conference yeah. where um, and from there we'll open it up to questions and just kind of so I'll be the down. one announcing so I'll say obviously I'm coming I'll say I'm coming back yep. next year is anybody else going to be up at the table with me no, or no? It'll, it'll it'll just, just be, be you just and me. I'll be over on the corner at the, at the uh, podium okay. perfect all right good afternoon everyone thank you very much for coming in I know that it's a little uh, cloudy outside but uh, Eric Almirola's future has some clarity to it, and uh, Eric, you're here right now, so why don't you shine a little light on us for us? That was really wow. good, Mike. Been wow. working on it all day. We've had a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so here to announce that uh, that I'll be back. Um, I know that doesn't come as a surprise to many of you, but um, yeah, just uh, put a lot of a lot of thought and a lot of um, you know discussing it with Janice and the kids, and um, ultimately. You know, the, the subject continued to get broached from the race team in, in Smithfield. And through all of that dialogue, um, you know, mainly with the race team and with Smithfield, um, it was very evident that not only did they want me back, but that Smithfield wanted to um, increase their, their marketing campaign around NASCAR and around me. And so they have decided to come back for a multi-year agreement support that they have given to me and my family throughout the career is humbling and so um, when Shane Smith called me the CEO of Smithfield and said hey we really want you to reconsider retiring we want you to come back and, and drive our race car um, is really really hard to say no I, I did tell him <laughs> uh, let me let me talk to, to Janice and, and let me think about it let me pray about it um, and we did and, and there was a lot of back and forth discussion but Ultimately, it just feels right, and um, I told you guys all, you know, down here at the beginning of the year uh, that I was retiring, and, and that it was for, you know, a family decision. And this is still very much a family decision. Uh, Janice and the kids and I um, talked a lot about it, and you know, I think um, the, the the person that probably has the most sacrifice involved is Janice. But it is a grind. I am telling you, it is it is long. It is a long year, it is a lot of work, and so I just found myself kind of at times going like, what am I doing? And things changed for us, right? We got our kids into a school where Fridays are satellite days so they could travel with me. We, Alex, on his own, decided that he was wanting to play baseball. We signed up for a baseball league where his games are on Tuesdays and Thursday nights. I haven't missed a single baseball game. Um, you know, things, our circumstances in our life have changed to where it just made more sense to be able to stay out here on the road and continue to do what I love to do and my family still be a part of it. All right. Thank you, everyone. It's been a yep. great day Thanks, in the motorsports industry, especially here in NASCAR. And on behalf of Smithfield and Stewart House Racing, very happy to be a part of it. Thank you very much.
time. And they'll collect more cars behind. The 14 stays on the ground. Break, hold the brake, hold the brake. You can see it happening. Eric Almarola in the 10, also an evasive move down pit road. Which you can use. That's legal. You just have to get, continue to slow down. Let's see. The 38 hits the 10. Right there at the top of your screen, kind of. And he's now going to turn left and miss the 23. Just Look at barely. This run. Yeah. Wow. And now he's watching the three spin out in front of him. Not sure where he's going to go. He's got some help with him. Oh, oh, oh into the wall they go. The 11 now also caught up in it. The team can win races here. You know, this, this sucks for everybody. We got great news this week. We, we need to get better, and our cars are getting better. We can win races the rest of this year. So let's, uh, let's, let's keep our head up. Let's, uh, let's win some races in the playoffs here, show them that we could have been there. But yeah, 10-4. Still got a lot, a lot to go race for. Yeah, we're going to have more of them. We're going to have more of them. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, Joe. A few things didn't work out. I was in position, and uh, there's maybe a move I could have made differently, but my help that was pushing me the 17 wasn't clear so I didn't take I didn't take the run and looking back on it maybe I wish I would have but I would have just been in the lead and I'd have been the first one to the rain so I feel like I got wrecked either way uh, yeah, I just hate it I, uh, I obviously wanted to win so we could get our team into the playoffs but still uh, you know still got a lot of racing left to do this year and uh, proud of everybody on our race team and just thankful to Smithfield, Ford, and everybody that supports this program. Uh, we'll go race hard for 10 more weeks and uh, get ready for next year.